Hey there, all of my Virgo people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting October 28th, 2024. Quick reminder, your monthlies for November are up. So if you haven't seen those yet, you might want to go and check those out when you wrapped up your business here. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, go over to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. So what's happening with your week and the astrology weather? Well, right out the gate on the 28th, we've got Mars in Cancer forming a beautiful trine to Neptune retrograde in Pisces. And this is spelling the opportunity to bring missing pieces together as it relates to either your social life or maybe even an important partnership. When we talk about bringing missing pieces together, this could be people, input, or maybe even opportunities and resources that could be quite good for either your love life or maybe your collaborations and connections with friends. This can pull uh, people together almost like a magnet, right? Closing the distance, but also making sure that doors are open for important exchanges that are going to occur, can occur. So be ready. There's going to be some uh, lovely surprises as we open up the week. On the 31st, we've got Mercury in Scorpio trying to that Neptune retrograde in Pisces. And this is all about securing and straightening roads, especially where conversations, contracts, agreements, and plans have perhaps not been the best formed. And for a lot of you, this is something that is going to get something settled and locked down as it relates to an important contract, commitment, or partnership concern is concerned. And I think everyone's going to be quite happy for this turn of events. So that's what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Virgo, here's your tarot traffic. And so it looks like for your earth sector, when it comes to your work, job, and finances, you've got the King of Wands upright. And the King of Wands is all about getting taken care of, getting hooked up, getting promoted, getting raised up in terms of your professional and social prominence. And for a lot of you this week, you are going to be kind of being put in kind of a celebrity kind of status when it comes to your work life, but also finding that there could be some help coming your way from people looking to lift you up, make things that have been maybe progressing too slowly or staying small bigger, faster, better, stronger. With the King of Wands, you want to make sure that you allow yourself to be not only discovered, but engaged what, with what is discovering you. Because with this week, uh, promotion, you know, either in the strictest sense or in the figurative sense, is basically on the menu for you. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And while you might be living it up, unfortunately, there could be something going on with a contact where they seem to be getting themselves in trouble again. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles reversed is a warning card about something where somebody could be trying to ask for help or ask for something that you don't want to give them. Um, a lot of the times this can show up where people are trying to get us to get involved with a situation that shouldn't exist, or they are looking for backup or maybe even money in some cases for something that you should not fund or support. Sometimes this card can show up where a person has kind of dug their own grave or somebody is trying to take advantage of either you or other friends or other relatives you both share uh, in order to make something bad try to pass for good. And you really just don't want anything to do with this situation. For your challenge this week, you've got the Ten of Cups upright. The Ten of Cups is the card of happiness, contentment, peace, and celebration. Uh, this is not a challenge, and honestly, this card will show up in the challenge spot when you get a freebie, when you don't really have any overarching challenges to speak of this week, Virgo. So really enjoy it. Uh, if there is a challenge that comes from this, it has to do with making sure that you've got good boundaries and that you're not taking on or welcoming in things that are going to disturb that peace, right? You are the gatekeeper this week. And maybe your challenge is to just be a good, respectable gatekeeper because you don't really have any challenges coming unless you let them.
I'm saying that to myself too as a Virgo. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Three of Swords reversed. And the Three of Swords reversed is all about healing. It is all about picking apart and pulling apart problematic situations or things that have already been a source of pain or a source of conflict. And so for a lot of you, it looks like you and a significant other are going to be getting a chance to dismantle something that you have been having to live with. Um, and this could be something that has been the source of a lot of strife, either for you or your significant other, or maybe you guys as a unit. But with the Three of Swords reversed, we get a chance to, again, dismantle whatever it is. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, you might be meeting somebody this week that is actually going to be um, able to help with something that they are bringing to the table that is also going to help dismantle something or break a bad trend in your life. A lot of the times with the Three of Swords reversed, we see something that is an answer to a challenge that has not had an answer for a while. So this could be something they're connected to, ideas, or maybe something that they're just bringing to the table. And finally, for your spiritual advice, your guidance for this week, you've got the Strength card upright. This week, you're really being pushed to actually be a little bit tougher, a little bit more hardcore, and also a bit more outgoing. When the Strength card upright shows up, we have to pay attention to where it is time to not only be putting ourselves out there, getting active and getting engaged, but also letting ourselves be more visible and let ourselves throw our weight around in a way where maybe we've been tentative or handling things with kid gloves in the past. The Strength card upright is indicating this week is all about satisfying needs and fulfilling hungers that have not been satisfied or dealt with in a long time. And so you want to make sure that you are giving yourself the space and the power to do that. Because for a lot of you, it's going to be a week to be tough in a good way. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.